I think it's just 47 here. Welcome back. I'm gonna have a chat with uh, old Charles Dickens. What's up, buddy? What does it need to be like midnight or something? Really late at night. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time Hello. for those club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Stay clear of. Follow me. Number 15, right. Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest hmm. report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl, a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Did you get stuck? Reach the haunted house. Come along. The house awaits. What? I'm eager. I'm eager to begin. Oh. Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young girl who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows. You know, had to drive. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly opened by a Mr. James Jasper. James a choir master Jasper and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, oh. Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. <laughs> well, that's possible, I guess. Hello. Shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Just look out. Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Ah, uh, it would be upstairs, wouldn't it? A self-playing piano. This phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world is a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all oh. seem to focus on one My thing. controller just vibrated. That's weird. Let's do this. This is the crib. A sudden draft. Nothing more. Yay! <laughs> My word! Perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. There's a girl. There's a little girl. <laughs> sort of box. Shit. Go. Come here, you. I'm gonna get you. Damn, this is a fast kid. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to uh -huh. you? Out with it. All right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Really? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. Hmm. All right. Secret passage. to know. Oh, I thought that was a man. 
Uh, this, this, I'm just being stupid. All right. Now, we have a key to the secret passage. Whoever that is, I don't even know. So we'll, we probably got to drag it down. I found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. <gasps> oh, that's sweet. Impressive. Okay. Get out of my house! Stand back, Sean. There was no one. It was love for Wrecked. things that came near to equaling mine. It should have been yeah. enough I didn't kill you. my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. I did it. What? <laughs> he ran. He ran away downstairs. Lols. Oh, Charles. We gotta. We gotta work on that, Charles. You a crazy guy? You can't just come in and like. <sighs> Whatever, man. Charles, the cowardly lion. Hello. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness. Madness by guilt, by guilt and, intoxication. and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. <laughs> I think that you do, yes. I don't know what book that happens to be. But I'm sure that there is one, yes. Uh, C? C. We'll see you over there in just a little bit there, Charles. We could really use a wagon right now, or cart. I like that he like doesn't really care that I stole his his cart. I'll just take another one. No worries. <laughs> old fire trucks, man. Good old fire trucks. Slam! Gotta. I'm just being mean. Stop, stop being mean. Slow down. Ah! He's in this pub. Hello. How we doing? Hills bells. Sure. There's been a spate of That's rather fine. intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies yeah. in London are hardly supernatural events. They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. Some I'm supernatural not so foolish power. as to forget that criminals will spin uh. any yarn to avoid the law. However, these thieves all proffer the same defense. They say yeah. they were being controlled by a demon. Will you make some oh. inquiries? One of our demon possessed mobsmen is being held behind bars at this very moment. You may want to begin your search there. Cool. Sounds like a plan there, Charles. Now, where is the. Is this the best route to take? Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, an open window? Scotland Yard. Nice. Ah. Oh, very interesting. Uh, 
Moving more stairs up. Eh? Hey. No, she's not there anymore. There we are. Get out of my way. What a crazy bit of craziness. Hello. What's that man done? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend that I believe you. Tell me who made you do it. <laughs> All I can recall is a silver watch swinging in midair. Hypnotism. It was by someone or something. A dark presence whispering. I could only okay. see its eyes. A demon. I'll need to verify this with the shopkeeper. <sighs> Yo. Thank you. Now. Right at time. And I got a fair distance to travel here, so I'll get get to the old pawn shop owner <sighs> off screen. And uh we're back. So till then, Bulbatuna. See you next video.